Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, excuse me? I think someone forgot to finish the E. <laughs> it should say happy birthday, Sue, not... Suck. Cash or credit? I want to start with the fact that this is now your fourth film with Tate Taylor, because of course we count your great, great role in Ma, <laughs> which I was so delighted by. <laughs> But I, I mean, what what do we love about working with Tate? It seems like he creates a very fun atmosphere on set. Cameron, you said it exactly. That's what it is. Tate doesn't just, uh, he creates a, 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 it's an experience. <laughs> it's like a whole <laughs> on experience on and off camera, um, especially, um, you know, when we've uh, shot most of the movies that I've shot with him. Not all of them, but down, he loves to work down in, in uh, Natchez, mm -hmm. Mississippi, where he has a beautiful house and 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 he has all these different pro houses around his property. They're all within walking distance. So all of these amazing actors, you know, uh, Mila Kunis and, and, and Regina and Juliet and Ellen and Aquafina and Wanda and Bridget and Samira, we all lived in uh, the same house together. So. Mm -hmm. You know, when we finished work, we'd all come home and, and cook meals together and, and drink wine together and dance and be silly and listen to music and, and, and sit on the front porch and watch storms come in and just get to hang out and share our own stories of, uh, from our own lives and, and just formed a real, um, real friendships and chemistry with everyone. It just it was so much fun. Summer camp for, for actors. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like heaven. <laughs> yeah, it really was. I just spoke to Mila earlier and she also mentioned that it's that at least in her case, Tate's own father is the one who came to pick her up at the airport. Is that always the case? I love Tate's father, but he drives too slow for me. <laughs> no, he drives like 50 miles an hour and I'm like, we got to get there. We gotta go. <laughs> I start to get panicky. Like I got to, I mean, I don't like I like to speed, but I definitely like to go, you know, at least four to five miles over the speed limit, just to, you know, push it a little bit. Right. But John is hysterical. He's always filled, Tate's father is filled with, uh, you know, crazy, wonderful stories. He's such a, you know, a wonderful man. So that was, the, it's always fun to have him there. I just like to have him drive me just to set, but not from the airport. Right, right. <laughs> now, as we've kind of alluded to, huge sprawling cast, so many great characters. And this script was on the blacklist. So I imagine a lot of the great character detail was right there on the page, but I mean, in your case, when you come onto this role, what do you bring to Sue Buttons? I just bring myself to Sue. I, I worked on my physicality and worked with the costume uh, designer of um, Olga Mills to, to, to figure out her look. And, and my Jill Crosby has done my hair for, you know, since West Wing days, we got her look together with the, the wig and 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 tried to to create this woman who who is who has been depri deprived and starved of uh, attention and love and 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 doesn't is trying making an effort to feel better about herself but she's not there yet so I wanted to show this bring myself to her and bring this tall woman who maybe didn't stand so tall maybe was a little you know it, it was it was fun uh, creating her. Uh, so I, I brought I brought myself to Sue Buttons, um, and uh, you know I've always been this tall person who's been very shy and not always confident. So I, I, I definitely have some of of Sue in me. Um, uh, the lies I couldn't do though. I'm I'm a liar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. And I like that you brought up the hair because there's an evolution there as well. We kind of yes. see how. It was a great little journey she gets to go through. And I, I had to, I got to change some of the ending too, which I won't say right now because I don't want to spoil anything, but um, mm -hmm. I love that Amanda was open to um, something that I suggested at the end, um, which maybe we'll talk about another time. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> down the road. <laughs> I've done nothing wrong. I just want my husband back. I swear these white bitches are crazy. 